Good morning, it's a new day, it's time for church. Let's make it a very legit one. Shout out to all the fathers out there. Good morning, Legit Nation. I hope everybody is gonna have a very legit Father's Day today. You know, the bad part about being a vlogger is not only that, you know, everybody sees your business, but also, whenever you try to show people something that you have a surprise for somebody else, they see it. So I heard. Yeah, you, what'd you hear? I heard that you found out what we got you for Father's Day. Yeah, yeah, you know, when you, when you told me to look at that video and I watched it and then I was like, oh snap, I'm not supposed to be watching this, so I turned it off immediately, but I only saw one. Wow. It's not my fault. All right. Yeah. Do I open it now? Wait for Beth. Wait for Beth? Hurry up, Beth. open it now. Hi, Beth. All right, let's see what we got. We got a Nike hat. Nice. Nike sponsorship. Ooh. I can see a dirty right. What? What? I'm not gonna put gravy on my on my hat. <laughs> yeah? nice. What's the end nice. for? Is that gun. New Balance? You don't want to know. Not a gun. It's for not of this world. <laughs> Naughty boy. <laughs> no say. And Nautica. Nautica. This goes right. perfect with my shirt. I have a Nautica shirt. <laughs> Your first dad hat. Hey, that's it. No, no, there's a paper here too. Okay. <laughs> and first stop of the day, guys, is all of y'all's favorite stop of the day. You know, the Ross boss came back into town right before we leave, and we're heading into Ross right now. She's the Ross boss set, I think, though, because she loves Ross more than me. You know what I'm saying? She loves Ross. Why are you embarrassed to show your face? Because why? She has no makeup on, but yo, we're better back at Ross. Time to swag things up the legit way. So we're looking for our trip, man, because uh, we gotta be, you know, not only do we have to be ready for our trip mentally, but we also have to be ready for our trip physically and swaz, swag, swag, swaggily. Does anybody even use that word anymore? I feel like I'm the only one that says that now. I feel like one of those old dads who like say old words, you know what I'm saying, on Father's Day. That one's pretty nice. I don't know, they're too big though. That couldn't be my carry-on. I have no. to pay 25 bucks. <gasps> oh my She just dropped all those, yo. I'm gonna freaking throw this. Yo, they got the Jordan Swagger in the building, y'all. Swaggy. Straight from champs, though. Straight from champs, you know. Yo, what's your name, bro? Uh, Sebastian. Sebastian, what's up? What are you looking for today? Um... Just getting us some shirts. Okay, all right. I yeah. like that. I like that. Kevin Klein, you know? That's clean, bro. Yeah. You're looking for some kicks or what? Uh, you know what? I got a little shoe game going on. Yeah. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. All right, man. Well, good luck with that. All right, thanks, Happy man. Happy raw shopping. All right, you too. <laughs> see, I like that, but I just get kind of like a dad vibe from it. You know what I mean? It's for a grandpa, not for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's for your grandpa. Okay. All right, all right. Then get it. I like it. I like it. Shoe game is too dry today, guys. Super dry. They really don't have anything today anything guys so they got all kinds of calvin klein here man they got all kinds of calvin klein jean shirt yo ross is a lit man ross boss, ross boss back in the building you know what i'm saying ross boss is back in the building what do you got show them the one that i picked i like this white one the best calvin klein jeans you know what i'm saying not too loud but you don't always necessarily need to be the loudest guy in the building to be the one with the most effect on people words of wisdom i'm gonna get my grandpa this Okay, you want him to look like a zebra? <laughs> Guys, I found the gold mine. We stay fresh to death. We stay fresh to death. See, I would get this one, but you can't even tell it's Calvin Klein, you know what I'm saying? You need like an extra special lens to see that. Oh my. I, I, don't, I don't know if I agree with this though. It looks a little bit like a girl shirt, but it looks like a guy shirt because it's gray. I don't know. But it does have glitter. It's Yo guys, what do y'all think of this one though? I don't know how I feel about this one. It says Los Angeles though, so, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys have ever been to Ross with your mom, your sisters, your girlfriend, your wife, you know that uh, they, don't, they don't shop fast at Ross. I've literally been sitting in this car right here for about an hour from the last clip. And Beth still isn't done shopping at Ross. What can I say? It's a blessing <sighs> and a curse. Hello. 
Hey, you realize you've been in Ross for like two and a half hours, right? I've been in Ross for an hour. You've been in Ross for two and a half hours. We've been here since one. It's three now. We haven't been here since one. We were at another show. Are you trying to pull an overnight challenge at Ross or something or what? Yeah, I'm calling the 24 hours shopping challenge. 24 hour shopping challenge, let's do it. All right, guys, and we are now back at home. We are now at the legit pad, guys. And so, you know, I was waiting for my wife for a very, very long time while she was in Ross. Now, while she was in Ross, I started getting some pretty, pretty funny ideas for videos, specifically for content today. Now, I was looking online, and I couldn't find anything like this. So, what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to pull a prank call on Ross. How it's gonna work is I'm gonna call Ross and I'm gonna act like they sold me a fake pair of Air Jordans. I'm gonna say that I've never been to the location before. I went one time and I tried to give my dad a pair of Air Jordans for Father's Day and they ended up being fakes. So we're gonna see what they say and how they have, and what they have to say to respond to this. So let's go. Thanks for calling Ross. This is Lincoln. How can I help you? Hi, hi, yeah. This is a uh, this is a uh, Ross dress for dress for Le Lester, right? Or Josh? Uh, yeah, this is Ross dress for Les. Josh, dress, 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 Ross dress for Les. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I had a, I had a something that I wanted to uh to ask you about. See, I never really I've never really been to Ross before. Um, my mom likes going because she likes all the you know steals and deals and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and so I ended up going to Ross this one time last time, and I ended up buying a pair of shoes. Uh, they're just like they have like this guy like jumping on them or something. Um, I think I, I, I they're they're Air Jordans. They're well, I mean, cause I mean you know what Air Jordans are, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, they're Air Jordans, and they're like red and black. And so like I wanted to get them for my dad for Father's Day, cause you know today's Father's Day and stuff. Um, and so I took them home, you know, I put them in a, in a, in a wrap, it, in a, I, I wrapped them, put them in a bag, and, uh, when I surprised them on Father's Day, they turned out to be, like, I don't, I don't know, there was, just, there was something really, really off about them, and I couldn't tell, um, cause I know, like, all of your shoes, like, they're, they're usually in good condition, right? Yeah. Yeah, so they're pretty much all in good condition, like, they're never, like, worn or anything like that, right? No. No? Okay. Yeah, cause, cause whenever I open them, like I was, I, I think they were, there was something kind of off about them, and I don't know if they're fakes or, I mean, I don't know if they're like unauthentic, you know? Do y'all guys carry that stuff in your store? Um, we do have Jordans for men. We do. Uh, so, I mean, um, did you buy it from our store? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought it. For, I bought it from the from that store in in Virginia, right? Yeah, Christiansburg. Yeah, Christiansburg. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, so I went with my mom because she was telling me that yeah, like, cause I didn't want to spend too much on my dad, but I still wanted to get him something good. And she's like, oh yeah, if you want to go, if you want to get something nice for him, you know, you can go to that store, Ross or whatever. And like, I never really yeah. wanted to go there because you know it's my mom's store or whatever. But I went this one time, and so I got this pair of shoes, and I thought I thought they were gonna be good. You know what I mean? But uh -huh. I was kind of disappointed by the quality. Like, I'm not sure if you know Ross carries unauthentic, you know, sneakers. We don't carry unauthentic things. Most uh -huh. of the things, because, you know, we've been existing for many, many uh, decades. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we pretty much carry authentic merchandise. Yeah. Because um, even, like, I went in there and, like, I was looking at, like, I think y'all had Michael Kors and stuff. And it, it, to me, I mean, to me, if you ask me, it looked kind of off. I'm not sure if, it, you know, I can't say that for sure. But, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, what's your take on that? Um... If you're really unsatisfied, you can always return it. Okay, um, so you can return it? Yeah. Yeah, you can return it. So yeah, even if they're uh, fakes, like, you guys will return, like, the fake shoes or whatever? Uh, you can, I think, well, I think you can write to corporate. Yeah, yeah. Write to them. Yeah, I think because our store, we, we don't have any power to do that. So would, would I handle it through Jordan brand, like, specifically, and say, like, hey, this store at Ross is selling fake shoes or whatever? Or, like, what, what do you, I mean... You could email um, corporate Ross. You could, I think, you can just, I think, let me think. Yeah, go to rossstores.com. So yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, just go to Ross Stores. Dress for Ross, dress for Lester, right? Or yeah, Ross dress for Lester. They should have Lester, the website okay. immediately on Google. Yeah. Um, you can, you know, 
you know, type in, you know, um, the only I thing, know. the only thing is that like we started, we started playing ball in them and like we played like two games of basketball. They got a little dirty. I stepped on them and stuff. So I don't know if you guys, you know, would return them. I, I, I mean, specifically. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes. You could definitely contact Ross Corporate. Yeah, cause um, I mean, my biggest yeah. just concern is just you know, cause they're fake and stuff, and you know, like I didn't want to yeah. go specific, I didn't want to go through champs, and yeah. like I don't know, I, I I didn't expect you know like flea market quality or whatever, but I mean, uh -huh. I just don't understand, you know what I mean, like. Yeah, I understand. Like, have you ever gotten anything from there and it was like fake or? Um, I mean, I did. I sometimes do call them and they would be compromised. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has yeah, like the like it could be the, a problem with the brand itself. Yeah, so it's kind of like, so do you guys sell like things that are like not good or like is it kind of like garbage stuff or what do you, I mean? I mean, like one time I bought a pair of flip flops. Uh huh. And what kind of um, what kind of flip flops were they? Uh, they were not. I I forgot the brand. Okay. But, okay. You know, yeah. Yeah. But you know. After like a few months of wearing them, like um, the the sole starts to peel, like to peel off. Oh um, my gosh, that's, that's not yeah, good at all. Yeah. yeah. That's not good at all, exactly. Man, I don't know. I I, <laughs> I, I, I mean, how would you want to represent that though? Cause you work there. Like I mean, I don't know. Wouldn't you want to work somewhere where like they have good stuff? You know what I mean? Um, I say most of the stuff is authentic. I yeah, think yeah, yeah. It, it might, yeah. Most, I think yeah. Maybe thinking maybe it could be a problem with air jordan okay you could try to email air jordan right right um yeah but um if you want you can email both ross corporate air jordans and talk to them about it ask them if they sell any kind of fake or forger you know forged um things um and i think they should give you an answer and i think um you should be able to um, because if you, because I think our store is not really capable of doing that because, um, we don't decide what goes in our stores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So y'all just our, put it out and you're like, whatever, like, <laughs> the customers buy it, they buy it, like, whatever, right? Yeah, because we're just here to, like, deliver the, the merchandise. Yeah, 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 so you're just like, whatever, like, it doesn't matter, and you, you just put it out and you're just like, yeah, go buy it, like, whatever. But yeah, because, you know, because we can't, yeah, we can't care because... Uh, we're, it's like, we're not within our power, we, we, I, like... Yeah, I mean, I understand, like, you're just there to get a paycheck, you know, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, um, so I suppose, um, though I think most of the stuff is okay. Yeah. Um, I think it depends on what it is. Yeah. So I guess, you know, because Ross, our, our, what we get in their stores every day is totally, is random. Okay. So we, All right. yeah, we don't exactly know what brand and we're getting. And do y'all like, do y'all get it directly from China or like, cause I, I'm just concerned cause like I know there, there could be like fake factories in China that are sending them to your store and like I don't want that, I don't want that yeah. to happen, you know? Definitely. I think you could, you could email the companies directly. Yeah. The brand itself. Yeah, I really think we need to get to the bottom of this because, like, I mean, it was my dad's Father's Day gift, you know what I mean? Like, I wanted to give him the best, and it's like, yeah. I, and these shoes are like, they're fake, and it's like, oh, yeah. no, like, fakes. Like, ah, oh, yeah. like, uh, ah, yeah. he was disappointed too. He was yelling and stuff, and I was just, Dad, I'm sorry. Like, like I'm sorry. I didn't know. And I, I just, yeah. I, it was really bad. Like, really, really bad. Yeah, I, I understand. I mean, like, because, you know, um, you could, yeah, why don't you email um, the, the companies uh -huh. um, that are, you know, are responsible for the merchandise. Okay, so like um, Jordan brand? Yeah. yeah, the Jordan brand. Okay. Um, because I think, yes, I know that... The thing is, is like, I don't, I, I think they're Jordans, I just, I don't know if they're like a knockoff of Jordan, you know what I mean? Like, do you guys carry yeah. knockoff from Jordan? Like... Like, I don't know, maybe yeah, it's a so, different figure or something. Yeah, so basically what you could do is email Ross Corporate and email Air Jordans, both of them, and then complain to them about the, you know, the Air Jordans being bad. Yeah, but what if and I then, what if I email Ross and it's like, these aren't Air Jordans, like, you're stupid, like, well, these aren't Air Jordans. You know what um, I mean? You can say, instead of, like, instead of, 
instead of saying like they're not Air Jordans, you could say they seem to be like a cheap fake, a fake yeah. uh, knockoff of them, and they don't seem to be the real deal. Okay. You could. And, and do you think you, like do you think they'll get they'll send me like a pair of real Air Jordans or like what are they gonna do? Um. Like maybe like some fours or fives or something. I let me go ask a manager. Hold on one second. Okay, thanks. Yep. Yo, shout out to this employee right here for staying on the phone with me as long as she has. If I were her, I would have hung up already. But yo, she's so cool. But shout out to her. We're gonna see what this manager has to say. Holding this is Brianna. How may I help you? Yeah, hi Brianna. Yeah, um, yeah, I was just talking. Who's the other girl that I was just talking to right now? Is that was that you or? No, that was uh, my other associate. She was telling me a little bit. You said you bought a pair of shoes and you thought they were knockoffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, I wasn't really too satisfied with the shoes, you know. And personally, like, I would go to like Champs or Damar, you know what I mean? Because like, they usually have really good, uh, you know, really good shoes there. And so this time I was like, you know what? For my dad. It's Father's Day, you know what I mean? It's not his birthday. I just kind of, I kind of want to get something, you know, a little bit on the cheaper side, not like, right. not too cheap, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to go to like the thrifts or anything, but I still wanted to get him like some steals and deals. So I ended up picking up a pair of shoes and everybody was real, real friendly in the store, you know what I mean? Um, and so, um, I got the pair of shoes and, you know, I wrapped them up. Everything was real nice, you know, everything was real cool. And I thought, you know, he was gonna open them and he was gonna be like, oh, son, like, like you got me Air Jordans and stuff. And so he opened them up and he was convinced that they were knockoffs, you know what I mean? And I personally didn't know too much about Air Jordans. I told him, I was like, dad, I was like, dad, I got you the coolest Air Jordans. He's like, son, what the heck? Like, these aren't Air Jordans. Like, what are you getting me? And I was like, well, I got them for you. And he was, it was really disappointed and he was really, really, really mad. And I just, I don't know what to do anymore. I'm just, huh? I'm not sorry to hear that. It's it's okay. I just I mean I don't I don't know what to do. Like it kind of ruined Father's Day and stuff. And I mean, um, do you still have your receipt for him? I do. Yeah, I do. I just I do. The only thing is that like we were running in them and stuff. He was stepping in mud and stuff. And and it, it, it they look pretty gross. Like they look pretty um, gross right now. I don't know if I don't know how you guys you know. Yeah, if they've been worn and especially if they're dirty, unfortunately we can't take them back. How about it, what if we like clean them? Like we can use that Crep Protect stuff, you know, get them all nice and clean up again, you know, to where, I mean, we could trick people to maybe thinking that, you know, they were never worn. I, Cause I know customers could get mad. So maybe if we like did a really good job, like they would kind of think that they're still new and. Um, well, unfortunately it's our store policy that if they've been worn at all, like outside or other than just being tried on, we cannot take them back. Right. Now, if you like genuinely think that they're knockoffs, so everything we get should come straight from the manufacturers that we do our business with. Is that like is that is that directly from China or how does that work? It would be through whatever man. I don't know which manufacturer it would come through. Okay. It should be yeah. Who our buyers do business with? I mean, everything we have is. Should be the main brand. Right, right, right. I mean, the only thing I'm just saying is because, like, like you guys seem really, really friendly. Like, you guys seem really, really cool. Maybe you could make an exception. I don't know. Give me another pair of Air Jordans. I don't know how you know you guys want to do it. I mean, right. I, I wish we could, um, but with them being worn, unfortunately, we cannot take them back. That's yeah. One of our policies on shoes. I really wish I could help you out. Like I said, if you genuinely think that they are knockoffs and that you got ripped off or anything like that. Um, maybe contact like our corporate office. Yeah. They might be able to tell you something. This, their number should be on our website. Okay. Um, so what if I call corporate office? Day. What if I call corporate office though, and they're like, "Yes, they're knockoffs. We sell knockoffs." Like, <laughs> like then they should be able to. I mean, they would let us know. But, yeah. Um. I mean, do you think that your store sells knockoffs, or I mean, what do you what do no, you take? I mean, yeah, because I mean, I even saw like some, I saw some Michael Kors and it kind of looked kind of off, you know, I just, I don't know, I mean. Yeah, they should all be, I mean, they might be like older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ones, but, no, all that stuff that we get is genuine. If you want to 
to bring them in one day, like if they clean them up, let us look at them. I can see what they look like, but um, okay. Here, we would have to really just see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be able to take I mean, cause grass stains and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, they smell, but you know, we can get rid of all that. We can make them look like they're brand new. Like, I guarantee you. It's just the okay. fact that you know, I don't want my dad rocking fake kicks, cause then it looks bad right. on me, and it's like. Where'd you get your fake kicks from? And it's like my son gave them to me and like I don't want to look bad, you know, because I gave him fake oh, kicks. <laughs> you know, like it's a big thing, it's a big thing. So yeah. you know, we're always Just trying to look fresh and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Legit for, for life, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as I have their feet, we can look at them, see what they look like, and decide at that point if we're able to take Okay, them. all right, yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, thank you. You've been so much help. All right, hopefully oh, no I'll be problem. back. You know, I might get some more fake kicks, but I'll try to be back. <laughs> so all right, thank you. Right. Sounds good. You have a great day. You too. Thanks for the thank fakes. You. <laughs> Yo, that was lit, baby. Shout out to Ross for being so dope, dude. These people were like legitimately trying to help me. And I like didn't want to be too mean because like I was like, yo, I these people are legitimately being nice. Like I don't want to like like be super mean to them, but at the same time, I was still trying to make an entertaining video. But yo, shout out to Ross for being so cool, man. I'm definitely gonna email corporate. I'm definitely gonna email your offices. Tell them, yo, I did a prank call to y'all. Y'all were super cool. Thank you for that. But uh, yeah, guys, that was our prank call to Ross. Let me know who you guys think I should prank call next down below. We got a couple more stuff to do, so let's continue this vlog. So we just got home guys. I hope everybody had a very amazing Father's Day. It's been a long day. Guys, we literally leave to LA in one day. Literally, we're gonna start packing tonight because tomorrow I gotta go get my hair cut. I gotta go get all freshened up for LA and then we leave the following morning in like five in the morning. So it's gonna be pretty lit. I'm gonna keep making these vlogs for you guys throughout the whole entire trip. It's gonna be a little bit of struggle to you know get them uploaded and all that, but we're gonna do it for the legit nation. And the Bible we're for today, guys, it comes from Romans 5.8. It says, but God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. While we were still sinners, while we were doing those things we weren't supposed to, while we were at that place that we weren't supposed to be at, while we were turning our backs completely from God, Christ died for us. Think about that the next time you're doing something that you're not supposed to, man. When Adam bit out of that fruit, Christ died for us. When you told that lie to your parents, Christ died for us. When we were so fake and we did something that we knew we weren't supposed to, Christ died for us. God loves us so much that he sent his one and only son to come and die for us, man. We need to be more appreciative of it. We need to take into more consideration about what we are doing, man, because God loves us so, so much. So why are we going to turn our backs on him? Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, always Legit Nation, smack up that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button to join the Legit Nation. And until tomorrow, Legit Nation, I will see y'all guys in the next one. Peace, homies. Stay blessed. We are out of here.